this video, I'm going to talk about municipal bonds. Uh, so whenever you, uh, you know, think about municipal bonds, of course, the first thing came, coming to your mind is tax-free. So we're going to uh, look into this tax-free uh, function of these municipal bonds. So first of all, the uh, municipal bonds, you have to know, is federal tax-free and the state's and the local uh, tax may be free. So only if you are the, uh, the residents of the state who issued the uh, the municipal bonds. Let's just say you are the residents of California and uh, uh, you purchase municipal bonds issued by uh, no matter if the state or local, uh, so you are exempt from the state's tax. So that's the same. Say, if you are the residents of California, but you, uh, you know, you buy municipal bonds who issued, you know, in Florida, you or New York, uh, so you will uh, have to pay state tax on it. However, you you are exempt from the federal tax, no matter which states are you in. So that's the basically uh, the information here you should know. So we can do a overview. Say, what is municipal bonds? It's commonly known as the mini bonds. It's a bonds issued by the local government or the territory or one of their agencies. It is generally used to finance public projects such as those schools, airports, uh, seaports, and infrastructure related uh, repairs. So that's the municipal bonds. So they can be issued by the local government or territories. So then on the IRS publication uh, 5, uh, 550, chapter 1, investment income, page 11. Uh, so they uh, addressed this. So this is just a confirm, uh, you know, federal. IIS is federal states, uh, federal tax, right? So they uh, they tell you states are local government ob uh, obligations. Interest that you received on an obligation issued by a state or the local government generally is not taxable. So tell you, uh, you know, municipal bonds is federal level uh, tax free. So basically, that's the information. So the issuer, the issuer should be able to tell you whether the interest is taxable. The issuer also should give you a, a periodic or year-end statement to showing the tax treatment of the application. Uh, if you invest, uh, invested in the application through a trust fund or other uh organizations that organization should give you this information later we're gonna see an example so basically say well the issue let's say it's local government agency they issue a bonds and uh, municipal bonds they should tell you how you gonna be taxed right so if you uh you know if you buy this let's say in a fund uh, bonds fund, and uh, so in Fidelity, then Fidelity should tell you how this might gonna be uh taxed. So that's basically the information here. Additional information we should know is, uh, this is uh from IRS say, even if the interest on the obligation is not subject to income tax. You may have to report a capital gain or loss when you sell it. Or you can do other things you may still subject to tax. So anyway, so we just focus on say, well, if you uh, you have to understand the interest on the uh, municipal bonds is tax free. However, if you buy on the market, uh, buy low, sell high, you have a gain on your bonds, so you have to pay a capital gain tax on the bonds. So basically, that's the information. Your interest is uh, tax exempt, but your capital gain is not. Then also, 
here is say original issue discount. Original issue discount on the tax exempt state local government uh, bonds is treated as a tax exempt interest. So make sure you understand this. This one is original issue. Say, uh, if you buy, let's say you know California issue uh municipal bonds. They originally they let's say the bonds is ten thousand face value, but they sell at a nine uh you know nine thousand five hundred, right? You have a discount, discount. Then you have a original issue discount OID. OID is the interest. So in this case, OID is tax free. However. Uh, there was another situation say well when you buy after issue let's just say you buy on the market so here tell you if a taxpayer purchase a municipal bonds at a market discount the interest from these bonds will remain tax free however the gain at the redemption is considered a capital gain and is not exempt from the federal tax so if you, uh, if you use market discount OID, so your OID may be uh taxed. So that's something you need to know. It is uh market discount OID and uh original issued is a little bit two different thing. Here market discount kind of is line. Align with this one. Say if you buy on the market, you generate a capital gain, so you have to pay tax on the capital gain. So you have to understand if you hold to uh until to maturity, there's no such things. There's no capital gain, so all your interest is exempt. Okay, so here's the example. Here's the example. This is Riverside, uh, County, uh, California. They issued a bond. So this is actually is uh sold in the fidelity. So then, uh, so you can see currently sell uh, for every hundred they sell at a sixty two. So they sell a discount. So this one may have a market OID market discount. So you. You buy sell may generate a capital gain or loss. You may pay pay tax on that. So even though your coupon interest is tax exempt. Uh, so as in the IIS, uh, you know five five uh zero publication, they they do say that the issue. This is official statement from the Riverside County. They. They are the issuer, uh. So they have official statement. In this statement, they have this information. They say the Series B bonds is excluded from the gross income for the federal income tax purpose. So this one is not an item of the tax preference for the purpose of the federal or. Alternative minimum tax input imposed on the individual and the corporation. So this one may, uh, this relate to the alternative minimum tax as well. So, so basically, in the statement they tell you, hey, this bond is federal tax, uh, income tax exempt. Then also they tell you. This bond also is exempt from the California personal income tax as well. So if you are the resident of the California, and、uh, so you can purchase this bond, you uh you are tax exempt from both federal and states.